Hey guys, Thomas McLaughlin here. Hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. Today, I am super excited to show you and let you hear, of course, and download my new Boss Katana Air patches. Now, I've been working on these patches for some time, refining them, tweaking them, and I think they sound absolutely killer. What you're gonna to hear today is the direct USB output from the Katana Air straight into my computer. There is no additional post-processing involved. It's eight patches in total, going from beautiful cleans right up to hellish, nasty gains. I'm super excited for you to hear these patches. So, let's check them out. All right, so we're gonna start right at the top with my first patch. It's clean number one. Don't worry, we'll get to the high gain stuff in a little bit, but this is my default clean. Let's check it out. I'm moving on to clean number two. This patch is a little bit more feisty, it's a little bit more bitey, it's got a little bit more grit, so those chords really have a little bit of kind of edge and sort of bite to them. Let's check it out. <laughs> Can hit a bit harder <laughs> yeah that's a great little feisty clean sound love that guy let's move on to something a little bit more dreamy <laughs> Man, I love playing around with Octavas and this is the Octave Patch. It's just a lot of fun to do those single lower lead lines like this. And I love the way the Octava tracks so well. A lot of times I find Octave effects are kind of not really super in sync, but this Katana Air Octava, it's wide on the money, it's super tight, which means you can really go into fast licks like that. And it's right there. So let's jam around a little bit more with the Octave patch. Love it. All right, so a lot of the time when I'm practicing and noodling around and jamming and just trying to come up with new licks, one of my favorite type of tones to use for that is a low gain patch where it's a little bit more stripped back. Um, it's just, it's easy to go between a nice clean tone by rolling the volume part back. And you can push that volume part right up to full to get a little bit of saturation, get things really moving. Um, I find it's a really good patch. 
mm. uh, for writing and uh, just what I like to spend a lot of time kind of practicing uh, on, you know, using this low gain type of tone. So this is my low gain patch. Check it out. <laughs> Every time I play with that patch, I just don't want to stop. Really cool, low game patch. So hope you enjoy that one. All right, so now we are moving on to some heavy stuff. I've got two real killer high gain patches. These patches are perfectly cool for playing tight rhythm stuff. And I feel this patch, the heavy patch, is probably the one that goes between lead and rhythm maybe the most, but then again, I keep changing my mind on that. They're both very cool patches. So this one is the heavy patch. <laughs> later <laughs> the heavy patch honestly I absolutely adore this patch it's like I define you not to pick up a guitar and just chug all night long <laughs> So moving on, as if heavy wasn't enough, now we go to savage. What's the difference? <laughs> Well, it's got a little bit more mid-range punch and a little bit more bite and a little bit more saturation overall. So probably this guy is a little bit better for cutting leads. So I would say if you're tracking with these patches, maybe use the heavy patch for all your big, big rhythm parts. Go to the savage patch for your leads and you're gonna um, cut straight through uh, on that mix a little bit better. But uh, let's have a jam around with it and see what it sounds like. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
So that is the Savage Patch. We've got one more to go. And it's all about the delay. Let's check it out. Chase and delay patch obviously is a very high volume delay. It's basically a one-to-one -one volume of your guitar and delay. So, so it's great for those kind of chasing uh, cleans. It's very difficult to kind of stay on track with it. So it's also actually a lot of fun to use as a practice tool because your right hand just has to be so consistent because if you slow down, if you speed up, it's like it falls off the horse, right? So you've got to be super consistent a lot of fun kind of using it like that but I also um, I like the sound of it in tracks you know when you hear a beat bass line and then the clean going off the top of it it's it's a great sound I love that so I had to include a chase and delay patch in the pack so there we go guys I hope you enjoyed these eight patches I certainly had a ton of fun creating them for you guys refining them and making them sound as good as I possibly could for you guys so I hope you absolutely love them I've been Thomas McLaughlin and I'll see you very soon take it easy bye <laughs>